Fantastic Hero Racers. But anyway, Pokatsune, thank you for racing and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me in here. And see you next time. We got Dustbox Falco, who in my mind is quite good. Another one of those racers where the stats are a bit of a lie. Uh, especially like when it's your first time, uh, you often just get seated up against somebody who's very good. You get sent into losers. I don't think that 2 of 4 uh, is really representative of their gameplay. And then Canopy, who's one of those like sneaky veterans. Uh, isn't like super active in chats, but has been around for a very long time. Yeah, um, and our game is already decided, and it is one of the most fun, interesting games in the pool, for sure. Um, and I am really looking forward to this. Um, I will tell you that previous experience is not going to do a lot for you in this game. As far yeah, as... Uh, like being able to relate to other games that exist. I mean, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read the IRC. We've got Wow what a pace bin. Lamau the picture. What the F is this pace bin? I'm dying. Oh god, <laughs> this looks like a travesty control. Dot join. <laughs> and the dot this, join's the important part. This Somebody pace bin is actually significantly improved. This was all text and then uh Maurice came through and made an awesome picture for this. I was just talking to him about it the other day, and I'm like, I'm a little concerned about this pace bin. And he said, I'm going to put a picture together. And then this picture actually clears a lot of things up in my mind. It still is, like, complicated, but the game is complicated. It's The, the, the pace before, bin is helpful. <laughs> before we get it on screen, I'll give you the the, uh, the chat one more hint. It, it joins our genre of jobs that this is definitely not how you do said job uh, genre. A hundred percent. Mater D is the one that comes to mind, but I think we've had a, a fair amount of like. I'm pretty sure this isn't how that you uh, how you make pastries sort of jobs. This is about as far away from making pastries as possible, but we'll uh, we'll see. I'm excited. How many buttons? Uh, four of those are no. It it feels like those are different. Like it says left and right as two different things, and I'm like, I think those are enough that you could have put it in like one line, but I'm really suspicious that it's actually a very different action. Going left and going right in this game. This will be fun. Uh, anything that you wanted to add about the racers? Um. Uh, particularly Canopy and their, their veteran status. Yeah, they, they've been around for a long time, uh, but th th they took a big break for a while, I think, so um, it's good to see them back. Uh, but I think maybe it was in the last couple of years, the break might have been a bit ago. Dosbox Falco um, tends to be pretty good, but I think that they certainly have a preference to games that they enjoy. Or it's, they seem a little bit less willing to just play anything, so... If you get something weird, and this is certainly a weird game, um, you've got to be willing to sort of adapt. The crank dud of uh, of issues. Yeah, not, I think that was I'm just not, I'm not necessarily sure DOSBox Faco has the reputation to be able to beat Andy, if no. it's only by reputation. But uh, yeah, we, we do have some racers who like games, but don't like all games. Uh, yeah. Mediocre disc golfer, by the way. That's me, too. I'm waiting for it to get warm, but apparently it's snow today, if uh, my mother is to be believed. So I I'm happy to be here with you guys instead of anywhere outside. Yeah, this yeah, game has so a little bit of setup. When, when are we doing Mystery Fishing Tournament? Do we have a little bit of time for Mystery Fishing Tournament before Funfest 2? How, how many fishing games can we even think of? It's just going to be a lot of bass. Like a, a lot of just the uh, the classic bass stuff, and then maybe um, we could... 
Yeah, so Sega Marine Fishing and Sega Bass Fishing are awesome, like actually fun games. I think a lot of fishing games aren't very fun. I know at one point, I think in the first Heavy Tropa, Andy played some fishing game. I, ha I have like a vague memory of somebody telling me that story. If anyone else has those details, I'd be curious to hear it. But I think like fishing games have been played in a mystery context before, but not very often. I think it was in PAX. Uh, eventually, like when you were at a convention and you've been walking around for four days, by the, uh, by the fourth day, you just want to sit down. And so I've had... Uh, what was basically a blind race of like Katamari Dynasty, uh, among other things. One of them was, I think, it was just like Big Bass Hunter. We we just figured out how quick, how far we could go in in an hour. Uh, I think if you're doing a fishing mystery tournament, it'd be a lot of like hand them a a save that gets you to. Yeah. Like, well, the, the Dreamcast the is the okay. only console I know that had a fishing controller that you could get specifically. Oh yeah. It was shaped like a fishing rod. Let's just um, mail out fishing controllers to all of our racers. That sounds good. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. Every once in a while, you know, I'm always curious if someone's going to submit, like, 50 push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> and just have it just be, like, an actual IRL challenge that doesn't involve... At one point, Boney, when he was planning uh, the wiki race tournament, said it wasn't video game related, and I was like... <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was funny. I was like, what is... Uh, <laughs> what, what is it? <laughs> is it going to be, like, exercises? I couldn't think of what it would be. I know um, you have, like, Small Ant who does the uh, the pencil sharpening. I would not suggest it. It's, it sounds like when you're doing it at a decently high level, it's just blisters. But... Well, I think the meme there is that there was a game called Pencil Sharpening Simulator that was, like, a thing for a while. And then... I guess he just went and started doing real pencil sharpening. Welcome um, TPC, by the way. Hello. Yeah, I know about this next game, so I figured I might as well hop in. Cool. I'll be the game. one who does it then. I think I might have seen. Uh, th this is it's the reality. Topic. Yeah, this is the reality with being like, not a lurker, but like a chatter for so long. Is basically if it's in any top eight, I've seen it before and then forgotten about it. it this community is so much. Um, yes, this was top eight. We we raced it afterwards as well. The first time I saw this game was at a Games Done Quick. Uh, an old That's one. where I saw it too. Like, I don't know, this was probably like 2013 or something. This was quite a while ago. Um, Actually, the first time I saw it, I think it was the Sunday sequence break, but then it was on a GDQ. Yeah, uh, there are... There are two different games that I can think of where you uh, are in control of, of this type of vehicle. One's a fighting game and one's this. You're unlikely to see a fighting game in MT ever. I don't think we've ever seen one that quite works, but I don't know. Do what you can. You, well, what's the work. what's the issue that you guys think that RNG? Yeah, it's it's heavily determined by what the opponent does, and like you can you can get good. Kind of, but at the same time, it's like fighting games are almost it's their own discipline. If you've played one, they're also similar to each other. If we're playing some weird fighting game, like, I don't know. Uh, maybe we could find something that's just totally out of left field that isn't so where it has entirely to do with what attacks your opponent tries to do. I have tried to blind And any skill-based mode context. is, like, not going to work. They, they they just won't. Because there are, like, you know, like, practice modes and stuff where you, yeah. like, it's kind I'll, of execution I'll, puzzle. I'll Come give on. you this question, then. Would a boss rush game be acceptable? Yeah, depending on the way... If it's a fighting game, probably not. Because then it's, it just, it's still RNG. Boss rush games are good, but it just depends on can you read all the boss attacks and react to them, or is, like, one pattern maybe going to be, like, way easy, and then you, the only reason you finish the game is because you've got a way easy pattern. You know, so they all have to be individually tested. Mm -hmm. 
suspicious. Think about this, it, guys. This game has no RNG. No, this is <laughs> this is a uh, a real steal. A very deterministic game. <laughs> yeah, this is all execution. There is a little bit of a weird mechanic, uh, kind of an arcade thing where when you fail um, challenges, they, they change difficulty, but like in a blind context, I don't think it's going to affect things a whole lot. It, it really doesn't matter in a blind context. And I think we're cropped and I'm ready to go to the next screen. Oh, I accidentally stopped playing music at one point when I refreshed this. Sorry about that, guys. I just didn't notice. But here we go. And the game is Power Shovel. Ito Classic on the PS1. What are you it, possibly it, doing, Disbox? You were watching a... A, uh... A power shovel picking up turtles, and then you clicked a button to stop watching that. It's not good race strategy. It's not good spectacle. I don't know what you're doing. I can teach you how to play the game. You're all um, prepared for this very normal game. Yeah. So the even the menu doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Where it tells yeah, you it's just complete nonsense. Get it with power shovel. Like, what does that even mean? Uh. And that's actually where we're going, I think. Are we going to get it with Power Shovel? I forget. Um, I think so. But I want to yeah, highlight so this no, awesome pace spin drive? that uh, it was It was just, it had like no info. And I was like, I'm a little concerned about that. So I saw it in backups and I like went through it. And then I sent that to uh, Maurice. And I was like, I feel like we should add something. And he's like, I'm going to make a picture. And he did. Oh, yeah. I remember this game. Let's do this. Yeah, so this is going to be a very um, learn how to control it game, and that's a very huge part of the race. But there is still a fair bit of challenge, even when you get pretty comfortable with the controls. Because I remember getting comfortable with them really fast. Like, this is the kind of thing that I'm pretty good at. Just like wacky controls and like games where you have to do a lot. But there's still like a lot to do after that. Yeah, and given that this was previously a top 8 game, the racers that we were handed this previously were confirmed certified gamers. Uh, this game, did you guys have it marked as like later rounds only, or are no, we just talking? Um, it's well, not no, super it hard. Really I think this will be a shorter race, actually. Um, yeah, this was on top 8 because it was wacky. Okay. It was Andy versus Zex, and then we, we raced it again after that. Um, just like randomly, like yeah, literally right after top eight to the day after. That must have been like a post top eight race, and it was like I had like twenty eight minutes. Spice was around twenty three. Maurice was at around twenty three. If uh, you're in chat and you haven't already clicked on that pace bin link, uh, there's some good artwork in there. You should you should go look at it. Absolutely, yeah. Um, why, why does the little guy? Oh yeah. Have... A Charlie Chaplin mustache. What are we doing? I like how he guys? speaks in angry Japanese as well. That's his. I, oh, I thought he was wearing a mask. Okay, so this is Power Shovel. <laughs> you need to smash this dang car. <laughs> so you gotta look at the uh, at the pace bin here. Basically, you can control every aspect of this this uh, machine, and you have. A lot of control over it. Um, Dosbox Falco not getting this percent up very fast. Okay, now it's going in a little bit. You can move the power shovel um, back and forth, like literally move the tracks. But in this game, you probably don't need to. Um, I, I highly recommend looking at the face spin and seeing the picture because it gives a little bit more context to what all the buttons do. But um, in general, all the different buttons on the controller are back and forth to some aspect of this this thing. And I don't think the Osbox Falco is going to make it. Yeah, and this is like a game where the main like objective is going to be finish every level before the timer runs out. But doing so in a way that you can like also be learning the controls and not just doing one thing that works and then never learning. 
Uh, Canopy at we'll 95. That was also where I was the very first time I tried this goal. Um, I've never actually played through this whole thing. I just... Uh, Ooh, I, whatever I, that was. Yeah, I want to say that I, I definitely cleared this the first time, but maybe it's not the best if you do, just so you maybe get a little more handle on the controls. I don't know. Maybe absolutely. I just picked it up really fast. Something like that uh, neither player is doing a lot is moving the middle part of the boom arm. And I think I would like that so I could get a little bit more of the front of this car. Oh, look at that. Dosbot, yep. no trouble. Time it's number two. Useful. Understands the goal. I don't know if it was actually is mechanic, long gone. but <laughs> Dustbox Falco attacking different parts of the car uh, seemed to be effective. It might have just been the nature of their like one movement that they were doing repetitively, but it seemed like uh, the car. Seven. Oh come on, get in there somewhere. You're like quite far I out. Not destroyed. It's the there other part. No. <laughs> No, 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 you're, no, you're no, trying no, to destroy on. an already destroy destroyed part. You gotta attack no. the good part. I mean, what possibly Falco is still good about this curry. car? Oh yeah, yeah, now we need to prepare curry. Oh, yeah. This is when the game's like, hey, you you better know the controls. Yeah. <laughs> this game. And the song. This is one of the greatest games of all time, and I I, re I sincerely mean that. I don't think this has ever been on Classics of Game, and it really should be. No, it's almost too well known. Maybe not, though. Most people don't know about it is this game. It is tight, though. So. On, on the first thing I googled, it had a long play by Obscure Games YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Our idea of what is obscure or not yeah. is completely warped. Okay, uh, is it Josh Box Falco, I think, has time? this. Yes, at two For seconds Curry left. Maker. Wow. This is a huge huge uh benefit at this point huge yeah oh exploding uh, that part there we go 100 100 yeah, moving on what one one oh, goal wow. is not gonna like determine this race so like no. it's still anyone's game right now no, yeah, understanding there's, there's so understanding game. how to scoopy doop is gonna be super helpful very and, important there's a lot of that <laughs> yeah and does does box Falco's, like shown competency at one of the crucial skills. Yeah. Uh oh. Now we're driving. I don't know why this is so difficult. Uh oh. <laughs> um. You just hold forward. Yeah. Well, you have to. I think you have to control each of the tracks individually. Oh my gosh! Look at the track skip. Oh. We still got time. Back up. Hey. <laughs> back up. Dodge you gotta back up. You're you're driving. You're driving. The, oh you're no! Driving canopy a bicycle. can't. Canopy, you gotta move the boom arm out. There you go. Get curry. Scoop all the way in there. Yeah, get get that curry. Is there any benefit to like moving the arm to get like, get better balance? Uh, I don't think maybe. I did. I think I but literally like, just went forward. I would say probably just go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Canopy's not going to be finishing on this. They've just figured out liters. the first group. I didn't notice that this was 200 liters of curry. Yeah, it's 200 <laughs> liters, by the way. Like, this is how you solve poverty, right? You, yeah. uh, you just feed people 200 liters of curry. A and person would be like, like the size of that stack of rice. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, you control each of the tracks individually, is my understanding, so you need to push both yeah. in order to go straight, and you need to push only one in order to turn. Um, that's not that bad, but it just depends if you've ever played anything like that before. Uh, yeah, the canopy's also found head. the uh, mechanic of the game gets easier when you bad. Yeah, uh, now, now you only need three dishes. dishes. But obviously, it's going to be faster for blind players. Oh no, oh no. Dosbox got confused right way. at the end. I think he was going to struggle with the amount of time left, no matter if he did that perfectly, but it was Hyper's 40 right. feet. Or... Okay. Keep That's ambitious. It. Keep ambitious. Yeah, P Piper's right. Katamari is that controls that way. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so the course is three meters shorter, which uh, is the exact amount of meters that we were short by. And so, it's an easier course. 
Yeah, so it should be fine. Housebox. It was forty meters before, I think, but at this point, uh, I think oh, I this course great. there's just fewer disappearing things. So yeah, so what happens when you lose is that the games get easier. Although you do have limited lives, you only have nine lives, and then when you run out, you have to start part timer mode over again. We but you don't have, have to go back to the beginning. We're a cat or pillar. Yeah, well, th 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 that's what cat stands for. Yeah. Like the company. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and cats have yeah. nine lives. This is very oh, funny. Got it. Please laugh. I, I, I didn't understand where the pun was coming from. Yes, <laughs> that, that makes sense. Um, but anyway, you don't have to start over. Y you can go back to the job that you were on. Just don't fall off now, those bugs. Nice. Okay. Good, good reversing. Good reversing. We've got it. I mean, canopy is 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 good at this part. She's moving. Could yeah. beat this on the first try, which would be massive. I definitely played Katamari. I don't know. How like twenty you million. Go volts. fast enough to get through these, though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love the like twenty million volts that it says on the side. So when you are a bozo and you drive off immediately. And like the game resets, does that give you a easier level immediately? No, the timer still has to run out for this because it respawns okay. you. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. So here we. This okay. is when you you develop the process on this. You know when you talk about you're playing a puzzle game and you kind of like develop the process. This is you got to do this on this level. That's that's the only way you're gonna have enough time. So like I extended the arm out forward, drive forward, knock down both front and back wall, and then just tilt left right, take out the side walls, and then just go really fast. Yeah, I would be curious if you could just kind of use the car to get a lot of these. Yeah, I mean this is clearly not going to be enough for DOS box here, um, but now has a bit of a technique going. Canopy is having a much better time on this course. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Goal. Work completed. Some good work done. I'm gonna say that the driving levels might be like the most natural for basically any player compared to whatever is going on on those boxes. It's uh, a Bunko. good point. Um, and also, so that means Canopy actually is one continue ahead of DOSBox at this point. Well, no. One behind on the hurry, but then one ahead on the driving, so... Um, and then one behind on the car, so is kind of caught up here. If they can re if they can make six sheds happen, I mean this is gonna be golden. Yeah, I but think I I barely did it. I I'm pretty sure I did the six when I played this, but it was like so close. You gotta be like. Perfect. And Dosbox isn't gonna make five happen. Can probably make four happen, but even then, wouldn't have that time. Yeah, it needs yeah. to needs to develop the process. Yeah. I think you could easily fall into the trap of oh, saying, Oh, look at this okay. canopy technique! Oh, canopy's got the process! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you could easily say, Oh, I'm not going to be able to finish. This is an artist scroller, nothing I'm doing matters. But like, when you have a timer that's like impossible, oh but you have God. to wait for it to finish, yeah. you could be figuring out precisely oh, what canopy is doing. Oh, canopy's so good! Oh, we failed! Oh, failed. oh, oh could you have to touch stuff. the pole at the end? And pull down oh. the pole! Oh, no! Okay. He's gonna get five. Okay, and DOSBox still has to get five. Um, so, I I don't know what part of it it made easier, but I think Canopy had it there and knows that they had it. It's not gonna I'm gonna stop. say, this isn't the tool for knocking down sheds, by the way. I feel like if you own a... Uh... Oh no, Canopy forgot the process. <laughs> All right, we're learning it again. Oh no, drive forward, drive forward. Put the arm down and then just drive forward and just tilt left and right. You forgot the process. Oh, like, no. I, I like the idea that they're learning the controls. They're not gonna be- It was be... part of the employee handbook. Actually, they almost, honestly, if they picked up the process a bit quicker, this is so quick. Yeah, that quick. was so fast. Okay, so at this point, I think Canopy will definitely finish on the next one. Um, yeah, if they can assume the position and then complete the process, they're good to go. He's down to three credits. I'd like to see where DOSBox is at. Okay. Assume the position. Position assumed. Process initiated. 
Canopy's got this. So part of the issue with the credits is that on the individual job that you're on, when you come back to it, you're going to be back at full difficulty if you have to go back to the menu. So it Before does matter off, a little bit. What What's the poster on the shed's wall? I mean, some some sexy anime girl. Couldn't tell you what it's from, but all these construction workers, they're here all day. A anime <laughs> existed before the year 2000? It did. Huh. I like okay, it. I gotta Alpha dig deeper. Existed. I can confirm, like, I'm looking out my window, there's construction directly across from me, and, like, it just looks like this all the time. They're so good at like digging out curry. Okay, they're back. Up, they're on the same goal. Dig deeper. So, yeah, you have to make sure you don't dump the sand back in the hole. Um, remember from this is like you want to do it as a four shot. Um, oh no. Yeah, you can't actually grab that much sand. So. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa! That's a lot of sand. All the... Yeah, that was a lot. Wow. All right, just nine more centimeters. <laughs> come on, come on, oh, Dustbox. No. Definitely gonna get, gonna get <laughs> written up for this one. He's definitely gonna get written up. There's no sand in there. It's well, literally Canopy just keeps dumping it back in the hole that wasn't useful. Oh, no. <laughs> I just picked up a massive it. scoop and it went from 43 to 43. What are the chances that you can beat this game without understanding how to play this game? I mean, we're going to see it here today, but the issue <laughs> is that you have to understand at least a little bit. Okay, 60 is less than we did on our first visit. Uh, but that super dig that D uh, Dustbox did is going to be... I think Dustbox is coming up a little button. fast and rotating a little late. I wouldn't want to rotate while I'm still in the hole, yeah, so you want I to rotate accidentally while you're in knock it. some in. Canopy kind of got never really seemed to understand this, so I'm a little concerned how this is gonna go. We'll have to see. Oh, there we go. Spotted. That was good. Yeah. Oh wow, 48 and one. And you see a lead change right here. <laughs> yeah, Canopy is right not you. in the hole. Who cares? Definitely, the, the client's not going to be happy about that one. Uh, no, know. actually, it does matter. Canopy, I feel like... So that actually went it's, down. It what happened is yeah. Canopy is dumping the dirt, so it falls back in the hole, and it oh, actually went that. worse. Okay, one more Canopy. <laughs> uh, Dustbox might be on, like, yeah, they've got one credit left. Oh, no, oh, Canopy nope, tried to nope, rush nope. it. <laughs> Can't rush a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. Uh, okay. This box takes a huge scoop and the game's like, yeah, that's 11 centimeters. <laughs> uh, we yeah. haven't mentioned it, so we probably should. The oh, music there it is! Oh 60! My God. <laughs> that was the that scoop was like of the, the century! Perfect scoop. Perfect scoop. 49 plus. Project's gonna gonna finish before schedule at this rate. Can't be stopped never, putting the sand. Never happened. <laughs> There's a big thing that says throw sand away here. It's in English. Okay. Yeah, this so... game actually got an English localization. How which did is this like, get localized? This game is insane. I don't know. Taito was like, this is Taito's heyday. Like, this is when they got really popular. So. I need to have like, like some friends over to uh, play this <laughs> sometime. Have a few beers and play this. Absolutely. Okay, uh, so here we've got a load of sand. It's slightly credit. different. It actually matters where the sand ends up. Does it? There we go. Oh, there's a truck. Went all yeah, the way. We did the 270 degree turn. This time knows they can just do the <laughs> yeah. 45 degree going the other way. <laughs> This box is going with the like slow and steady, like try and finish in two cycles. Oh! The point was, just picks them I... up with your hands. You got time, you got time, you got time. It's not gonna be punished because they're just good. There we go, we're complete. That, that truck's not gonna be able to drive. It's too yeah, much Andy sand. Yeah, that's far too much. Andy, you did uh, you did shovel this in top eight. In fact, I remember my race comment was, "And 4H costs eighty six dollars," 
and we'll probably see why. I hope. Help us save the turtles! Oh, the best, the, the best mission. <laughs> the original right Shovel Knight! <laughs> oh yeah, I played Shovel Knight. Yeah, so Wait, what do you mean? This one was in the, uh, the pre-roll. Yes, you got this you box gotta to the skip. Yeah, yeah, so you these turtles are a pain in the behind. Uh, they're really hard to get out. I, I what are we see... saving them? What yeah, are the what turtles are being the saved pub? from? <laughs> Themselves. I, I feel like we're the only dangerous thing in this in this <laughs> universe. Turtles could just waddle out. Save if they the turtle! To. You put we them in the kitty pool. I think four is not going to happen for either of these players, unfortunately. The gold turtles God, might be no. worth more, but they seem really hard to get. Are. I don't even remember saving four, so... This is the kind of game that, no matter how long it's been since I've raced it, I'll, I'll always remember. <laughs> I don't think you could forget this game. No, that's why they're like, I don't... Maybe I'm blind. It's like, well, you would know if you had played it. Okay, Canopy. Having... Uh, running out of credits, having to go back to that mission. And I think DOSBox has got to be close. What happens when you run out of credits? You just go back to the same level you're on? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's just it's just a menu wing. But but it will Canopy's gonna have to start at 80 centimeters. Or 80 oh, that's disgusting. instead because it's not gonna remember. Oh! The golden turtle! Is it worth two or three? Three. Yes! Okay. <laughs> we okay, saved so we a turtle. I think that said saved tortoise. I don't so, know why I read that. It definitely did. So, so DOS box is down. And tortoises are the same. Good to know. DOS box is down to one to zero credits. Um, I guess you can't really take an intentional death because the timer has to run out anyway. Oh, this hey, is the, the annoying, irritating, stick? irritating stick level. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, um, I don't know if you. If people have been paying attention, but this is something that I used when I raced it. Um, it popped up on Canopy screen. The game actually gives you a preview for each mission that shows that actually like legitimately shows inputs for like what they want you to do, and that's a really good guide to follow because they they do it like elegantly. <laughs> Ow! Not really gonna help on Dosbox Falco's level, but I'm not sure if uh, Irritating Canopy's... Stick has ever been an MT, but let's see if that's a good one. I think it has been. I think. That's the game that was inspired by this exact mini game from Power Shovel. <laughs> it's, it's a game. Based on a TV show. So, 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 yeah, so this was a physical TV show in Japan where you would literally guide a stick through a maze and have to not touch the edges. And then there was a PlayStation game based on that, where that's the whole gameplay is guiding a stick through a maze like that. There's a lot of PS1 games that are just based off of random like Japanese game shows like that. There's Did a... Canopy finish the? Digging, I didn't even notice, but is now moving on. Uh, yes. We are, we are now loading. Which... Yeah, like, I'm sure people might know that, like, uh, the, the show Ninja Warrior, I'm sure people are familiar with that, like, American Ninja Warrior based off a Japanese one. Uh, it had a precursor that was, like, where it kind of originated from, and it, uh, it has a PS1 game based off of it. This you have to do oh. math. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. Yeah, this and is, it's all it's all Taito characters. This game was immediately put into top eight. <laughs> yeah, and it's all Taito characters, so this is why An 4 h costs eighty six dollars. You see, like Chacken from like Mr. Chacken from Chacken and Pop. Um, oh, I don't actually know all of these. Nice DOSBox box obviously. having no issues here, and a fifteen. Look at how fast that was. Worth ten you, this time. You have all the totals at the bottom. You really have everything you need to work with. You can think this is kind of mean, I guess, but it's really not so bad. Um, at this point, we have two of you. Us, uh, sorry from done. Kiki Kai Kai. Done. You gotta just bail, yeah. And so you're not gonna get four. Yeah. As the character for Kiki Kai Kai is that? Is that Mr. Domino? Is Unless that a title really game? easy? Is there a twenty? No. Fifteen, five, and what one. Is that character? Oh no, oh that's from another Taito Arcade game. That's from that's elevator action is the the door. Mr. Domino is an awesome game. I wish it was better because I don't think yeah, I would want it's not an MT. But because it's not no, like that fun to play, but it is a really cool game. <laughs> All 
I'm not. I'm not the. I'm pretty well versed in Taito, but even I don't know all their old arcade nonsense. Man, they don't yeah, make stuff like yeah, this anymore. Silver Hawk. <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of do though. But Monk at canopy. the same time, I'd love to see it. Oh, we almost oh. have the four turtles saved for Canopy. And that Good golden call. turtle like wanted to jump into our yeah uh, into our cup. Okay, here comes the uh, the continue reset there for dust dust box. And doing it right at the start of a new level, which is really good and healthy. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing that says you can't restart on your own. Um, but. Now it's a time loss for you, it's just extra menuing. Yeah. Only has to do it two nice. times. Oh, there's a space invader. There's After no the free. reset, only needing to win twice. That's lower than I thought it would be. Yeah. Failed that one. Um, yeah. There you go. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's 12 plus 1. <laughs> that's math. That, that's the most math that we've had in uh, Mystery Term, I'll argue. I think... Uh, Billy Buster, our, our math Sokoban only went up to 32. True. Yeah, the amount you do, the amount of math you do is determined by how high the number goes, so. 100%. <laughs> Hit the robot, man! This one, I remember being kind of hard. Yeah. This was, this was the hardest one for everybody. Yeah, because there's like multiple things going on. You got to keep your stupid little guy and the stupid little thing but also then do the actual task of hit the robot man oh no and can't they, quite and they oh, don't love you <laughs> so close no. but so so far away okay these guys are just mocking at this point the, the walking up to you, doing the little animation, and then running away is very rude game. Yeah, I believe you can also hit the tiles and cut off their tiles, and that's what you're... Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I'll pick up on it eventually. Hopefully. And if they don't, they get to jam to the music, so it'll be fine either way. Keep ambitious. Yeah, did this game inspire Undertale and many other games to tell you to, to keep on going, or was that mega lit <laughs> with its don't get tilted screen? Yeah, this was the first game to ever do that. It's like a meta element. Every puzzle is solvable. <laughs> Every puzzle is... Yeah, what was that that said that? Uh, Every puzzle is... In mega lit, the put the sticks oh, on the ground that's game. Right. <laughs> uh... Oh, they can jump! Don't, don't, don't be rash. Man has every, hops. every screen is solvable. Okay, you've learned the game is try and bully them. Uh, <laughs> is this a win or a loss? Uh, it would have been a win if you get it. You gotta knock him off! Come on! Hit the robot, man! <laughs> this is Splash Lake. There we go. There go, there's one! He's a dead <laughs> You're man. You're not gonna get the other one in 10 seconds. I see no reason why you could not. He's right there. Yeah, you could. Oh, now so you're he not. has a lot of room to run around. Just fall. Oh, no, not like, yeah. not like that. <laughs> <laughs> that one yeah, really felt like a to be continued screen where you just see the uh, the, the player falling and then. Man, the, the way that the, the vehicle just falls is just so funny. There's just something about it. Canopy is having so perfectly. By the way, I love the background is just that we're high up in the clouds. That man is falling for a very long time. Okay, the music's too good. Yeah, whatever uh, DOSBox did, where they got it to one out of two times on the math game. 
Well, it's, I so don't it's, recall them. I think they get harder as you complete more, and then they also get easier as you fail them. So because Canopy didn't just use their continue, they're on the slightly harder version. But finishing it here, obviously the fastest way to beat this goal is to not die and not use continues. Yeah, the, the fastest way to be good at game is to be good at game. <laughs> yeah, even though you're going to be playing harder versions of the things, if you beat them, it's going to be better. We're, we're both back on... Uh... Even keel. Yeah, we're back on Hit the Robot Man. Yeah, it's Hit the Robot Man, but it's men. We need to hit both of them. Yeah, Canopy has three robot men to hit. It's gonna be hard. Yeah, this was this was the sticking point of the goal. This was definitely the hardest part for everyone. And that extra continue is bad um, for for Canopy because it means they're at a. <laughs> you got him! You got him! <laughs> oh, uh oh! No. That's, that's not supposed to happen. Oh uh, no! <laughs> Did the game break? Oh no! <laughs> Welcome to Mystery Tournament. Where, even despite the fact that we've never really seen the game before, and that these racers definitely haven't, you can still have that's never happened before. So. <laughs> what <the> <laughs> we've got a finish from Timo Star. Ah, Timo <laughs> sub my time. Oh, I'm so bad. We'll see if we can read time for that. <laughs> so you should definitely just put a star after your name, and I think you probably save an extra two minutes on basically every game. Probably. Okay, they're they're on even uh, footing now, with only needing to kill two robots. However, the robots are uh, garbage and cheat, so I'm gonna say it's an even match. Yeah. It's the yell too. Like the animation itself is already funny. But that yell is great. Man, I love Taito. This is not the last level. There's one after this. Or at least or maybe two after this. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the second to last level. If I've learned anything from Mystery Tournament, the second to last level is the hardest level in basically every game. Okay, you've, uh... It's this sort of time, like, that DOSBox has been in, where you're at 0 and 2 and you really have no hope of finishing. If you can just learn something about, like, the robot AI, just find any sort of progress, despite the fact that you're never going to make actual tangible progress, I would like to see it. Hit the robot, man. <laughs> it's true, Andy. It's so simple. Why aren't they just hitting the robot, Back up. man? Back up. Oh, no. Okay. We have this. We have this. Dead. One down. And your path to chase the other robot, you've just cleared. There you go. Yeah, you gotta you gotta lock him off in this little like loop right here. This is a really good part because you can hit like basically all of yeah. them. Yeah, there's one in each corner. So if, if DOSBox could get over there fast enough... Yeah, there we go. He's run into the corner, and if he goes left, we have a chance. If he goes right, I don't like our chances. Uh -oh. He goes right. You can still do it maybe in the corner here, but... You lose one track, you kind of fall through the hole, so it's really hard to get like that. Canopy was in the same spot, by the way. One of, one of two, but... These racers know that they're coming to the end of the goal because they can see it in the the menu. It's true. It's like, there is the list. I think that's probably not a healthy thing. I think that's probably just actually <laughs> more pressure on them. But yeah, it depends what kind of person you are, I suppose. But oh man, turned it red on the way down. Get him. Okay, Canopy's got 45 seconds to clean up one guy. Keep yeah, ambitious. Yeah, Roar, Roar apparently just added that. As a pop <laughs> <laughs> to the to the dashboard. 
That's wonderful. Yep, it's on there. Okay. Now. He looks so gettable. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Both of them did it! <laughs> oh, wow. that canopy okay. does it! Does it! Two out of two! I he feel kept like ambitious. Canopy kept ambitious. But also got a bit fortunate because we've seen in that sort of spot the robot's just been able to jump to the next piece. He got him right as the robot was uh, like walking over the crease, and therefore his jump didn't make it. If it was purposeful, brilliant by play by Canopy. If it wasn't yeah. purposeful, still a brilliant yeah, that's play. Not, yeah, that's just that's, not that's, by that's Canopy. Not, that's definitely what I did. Okay, and now we get to play a completely different game. Yeah. Uh, th 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 this is a job, by the way. This is under the list part-time jobs includes whatever this is. So I remember tilting the arm a little bit up just as soon as it was about to hit the ball. Yeah. And that's how I, I hit some of them. I'm just extending it out as far as I possibly could. You don't need to hit a lot. Zero of two. Drop a wooden doll. Who among us hasn't dropped a wooden doll every once in a while? I mean, uh, canopy just hitting it forward isn't gonna do anything. <laughs> you gotta hit it up. No. <laughs> this, <laughs> you're doing the same thing every time. It's a very tough one. There we go. Oh, oh there's one. one, but it's the exact wrong time. But he's it's learning. Right. He's he learned. Saw the idea like. 60 seconds in at least. Honestly, as long as you're moving forward, it's the exact right time. We're good. He's indeed keeping ambitious. <laughs> Us bugs really having trouble with these platforms. You have to, you, they're not generous. You have to be, oh no, getting pushed by the robot man. So I have, oh no, Canopy's already done it. I was going to say, I, I feel like Canopy's found a really good strategy to knock the, uh, Knows they can end this early if they magically can do them all. I mean, you might as well try. I like the punch shot into the ground to try and bounce it up, but I would suggest maybe getting under it. And maybe pulling the crane a little bit closer so you're not just hitting it to the left side every time. Yeah, you can move the power shot. Who said that I mean, there weren't sports games in uh, Mystery Tournament, by the way? This is clearly sports. <laughs> Some sports games. Not a lot. But... Okay, you've made a big mess that you can go clean up, but you're also getting through this level, and I believe this was the last goal? No, there's there's more. One more? Um, no, this should be the last one after the baseball. Okay. You're calling that baseball? Somebody else in chat called it baseball. <laughs> to use the terms that they want. Yeah. Unless it's Andy. Yeah, Andy's not the right answer. That's cloth. Defend the invasion from the oh, missile come man. On. Come on, this box. No. This one I remember just like spinning around. Oh, dust box. Oh no, too far away. Don't turn right. Okay. Dustbox, what are you doing? Come on. No, okay, turned. Why would they turn? They're done. They're yeah. done. That's it. Two of two. We still have a chance if we have fails from the missile men defense. Yeah, but the uh, the one concern I had here was if they reached us, they would uh, just destroy us. Oh, yeah, they, do. they can. Okay. They can. 10 out of 13. We're on to wooden dolls here. Uh, this is, even if you do it first try, not an auto scroller, but it, still it at will, least 60 seconds. It yeah. will hold you hostage here for 60 seconds. Uh, and so I hope canopy... Dustbox does do it first try because. 
it might be the closest power shovel race ever seen. Yeah. Oh, one. Good oh, shot. One. Now needs to do something slightly different because you need to do it. Do the exact place. same thing and back up a little bit. That looks different. Oh, too high. <laughs> we didn't think it was possible. No, no. Oh no! Don't hit it that way. <laughs> He's done the uh, the Wii bowling where everybody spins around shot, but here we go. Okay, Boo. that's progress. Now it's Canopy with a small lead, but no, with that fail, they're gonna be uh, more or less tied up too. This is insane. And I, I think DOSBox should maybe get a little bit of a read time if it's close based on that level that broke with no fault of his own. Maybe just the amount of time that that guy was stuck, we'll have to make that decision. Whoever's modding that can take that into consideration. Oh so no! Canopy oh, failing yeah, again. You can only, you only have two hits. Yeah, as this soon as they get super close to you, it gets really awkward when you start having to move the the crane arm, and that's yeah. the thing that you want to do the least. Uh, this looks really hard from Dustbox, like harder than any version that we've seen from Canopy. Yeah, well, Where starting guys with 15, at once. and then we've got a... Uh, is that a fail from Canopy? Yeah, this is a game over. There's no more business. And a uh, fail from Dustbox, oh my gosh. No, oh no, our ambitions are over. But we also have a millionaire, so I think it's fine. <laughs> Who was it? I think it was Brosentia actually put in BRO in a game recently, and I was like, that's like the champion way to play. That's not AI. Uh... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think it's like completely unadvisable to do anything but awe uh, when it's a uh, <laughs> when it's not a like if it's a keyboard setup and you need to get towards end anyways do whatever you want uh in that sort of setup just please do on uh, save yourself the time we're on the last level you're more or less synced up oh my gosh oh, this is has to do 12. how many is it going to make falco do Ooh, canopy with the uh, the stomp strategy. It's looking good. Oh no, Dosbox yeah, might fail this anyway. If it gets bad, you can always move to like the swing around strategy. But this looks really good for canopy, and this might be it. Hitting these missile men. Yep, that's a dot done in the chat. Nice job. That is a hundred percent what we call like a knowledge checkpoint. Canopy had enough time, like enough attempts at this level to yeah. find a way to make it work. Goes with this like just long arm stomp, and Dos Box is gonna probably take a few tries because they're playing with the bent arm, and this looks miserable. Yeah. Big GG. Yeah. The key thing about the long arm is oh, that it's gonna it, forfeit the final. Like says GGs. Very fun. It's like it's low enough to hit the guys that are still close to you, so like you you get so much coverage on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's much faster of a forfeit than I thought would happen. Uh, DOS, or either that or Dosbox has gone offline at the exact wrong time. Yeah, short slam is also a very good way to play. No, I've never I can't seen believe more of the game. broken. Did anyone clip that? We need to see the clip of the of the spin gate. This is spin gate v two. <laughs> oh my gosh.